What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now the Iron Banner dropped yesterday and before it dropped there was a few things we saw. Hunter Cloak Wolf absolutely incredible uh you know you guys know i'm trying to get back into that pvp i ain't a massive pvp fan i mean i ain't that great at it uh most of the time i do get owned but seeing that hunter cloak with that motherfucking wolf on his head i just that, that i i had to play iron banner i just had to play it before it come i knew instantly i was gonna sit down and grind this fucking thing and as soon as i got this wolf's cloak I didn't give a shit about nothing else, no armors, no weapons, nothing. I didn't care about none of that. As soon as I got this wolf's cloak, I would have been happy and I wouldn't have played it no more. Luckily, yesterday, yesterday I grinded it all night and I got the motherfucking wolf cloak and it looks incredible. Wolf's wood cloak. Look at that thing. Amazing, absolutely amazing. One bad thing about it. Thing don't change colour with your uh, your shaders, but still it looks amazing. I mean, it's it's not bad colours to be honest. I mean, it will go with certain arm, uh, with certain shaders. Sorry, but oh, it looks it just looks so good. It looks so good. I'm I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. Now, like like I said, I've grinded Iron Banner now. I've got the cloak. Um, I, well, this was planned prior. As soon as I got the cloak, I wasn't gonna play no more. But he's got a weapon. He has a weapon here I am super curious about, and it's that right there. Near Wind's Mercy. This to me looks like an amazing, an amazing pulse rifle. I mean, I don't know if you guys have saw the future Warcock pulse rifle. I think it's called the Villainy. That thing is an absolute beast, and I'm not kidding guys, it is a beast. It's basically another messenger. I mean, it two burst headshots. I mean, if you're high enough light level in that Iron Banner, it will two burst headshot. It's an amazing weapon. It's got basically the same standard stats as this. Same rate of fire, same impact. I'm not sure about range, but it's got a higher stability. This, uh, sorry, this New Wind's Way, uh, New Wind's Mercy even, has got a higher stability than the one sword with Future Warcult. This one also has perfect balance. It has Brace Flame, where you can max the stability out. That's only going to take the magazine size down to about uh, 29 lowest. It's got... Outlaw, it's got third eye. This is a monster of a PvP weapon. And I'm gonna grind until I get it. I'm gonna grind until I get it. What rank do you need to be? Is it a rank four? Oh, you don't even need to be a rank. Oh, yes, you do. You need to be a rank five. I didn't see that there. You need to be a rank five to get this, but you can still get it drop in Iron Banner. So if you grind Iron Banner, there's a chance you will get this bad boy drop. Um, so yeah, I've got my cloak. I got my fucking sexy ass uh, title. Now it's all about this Near Wind's Mercy. Absolutely incredible. It looks so good. I mean, I've played with this Iron Wraith as well. I played with it at the Taking King Launch event, and it's not a bad weapon whatsoever. I mean, Rate of Fire, if you've got a trigger finger, this thing absolutely murders. It really does. But yeah, I mean, if I, if I get it, I get it. I, I still haven't even got a sidearm. I'm not even joking. Every sidearm I get, I just dismantle. But yeah, uh, I'll, I'll give this one a chance, I really will. But that's the main, my main focus now is this pull rifle, it really is. Now I'll show you guys my class stuff I was using for that Iron Banner. Uh, now I do switch up depending on the map, but my main setup is bad juju. I mean, I'm going into the Iron Banner. I mean, I'm going into the Iron Banner. 298, like, between 298 and 302, 303. And it's, it still vex. I, I mean, they said that the damage curve... Uh, your light will be, you'll see a bigger difference this time around. I don't believe that is the case, to be honest. I mean, I tested it out and I went in with the fan verdict and it, it was just as good. My light level was 200, I think it was 285 when I tried it. But the fan verdict, year one, 150 attack weapon was just as good as it is in normal PvP. I mean, yes, there's a slight, slight, um, you can see a slight, slight difference. But, I mean, it's, it's a matter of, it's a matter of single digit numbers, it really is, when it comes to damage wise, what you're dealing. I mean, there is a, a massive, massive difference to be honest, but yeah. Um, bad Juju for the win, absolutely beast of a weapon. Bad Juju, Red Death, you can't go wrong with these bad boys. And like I said, look at mine, mine above 280 attack. And I mean, and I'm not doing too bad, I'm not even joking guys, I'm not doing too bad. I mean, 99% of the games, I'm going at least positive, finishing top three in my team. And my, my, a lot of my team are really good players, so... What can I say? 
Bad Juju for the win. Red Death for the win. If you've got long range maps, um, my Suros DIS 43 absolutely murders. I've got this one here, which I'm going to level up and then try out. Uh, Tuonella SR4, a modern scout rifle, not too bad whatsoever. This is the sniper, the steel piercer, hunter exclusive. You guys know, you hunters know, this thing absolutely wrecks. I mean, it's mods, it's, it's perks, ain't that great. But it absolutely works. If I need a shotgun, I switch to this one right here. The Conspiracy Theory D. I mean, it's got range. I mean, dead nerf shot package. This thing don't need shot package. This thing will hit you across that motherfucking map. I'm not even joking, guys. The Conspiracy Theory D. If you haven't got one and you play PvP quite often, you've probably been on the receiving end of this, so you know what I'm talking about. This thing is incredible. I mean, I've got accurized ballistics. I've got, I mean, I've got aggressive ballistics as well. I can switch that up, but um, now uh, shotguns have been nerfed that little bit when it comes to range. I just go over that a little bit extra range. Uh, so yeah, I got range finder also. I've got a um, rifled barrel and I've got exhumed, which well, you know, this weapon gets improved range and handling for a short time after revival. This is more so a trials or elimination sort of perk. Uh, skirmish maybe or whichever skirmish or salvage can't remember which one you can be reviving maybe both who cares but yeah conspiracy theory d is a beast of a weapon and this is one you can actually buy from the vanguard quarter master as well i'm not sure if this is the one i brought um this could have dropped i'm not sure to be honest but you guys can go and see that for yourselves heavy i'm just using the hothead my basically reskin of the dragon's breath and i mean my mods ain't even that great to be honest they ain't that great nothing great here I mean, I just apart from field scout, which gives me one extra rocket, and yeah, it's this just it just wrecks, it wrecks. But um, other than that, my actual armor setup wise, I haven't actually looked too far into it. I mean, it's all about light, and I mean, if I select other armors, my light level drops, so I have to use the armors I've got to keep my light level up there, so I can be basically compete. Um, so yeah, nothing else can really do there. I mean, I switch my helmets back and forth. Sometimes use my knockerhead radar. Uh, gravitation four feet depends on what I'm using with my um, subclass setup and shit. But yeah, other than that, I just go into it, go for the grind, and hopefully get some decent loot out of it. But guys, let me know down below in that comment section what loot have you had dropped? Have you had that pool rifle? Let me know if you have. If you've tried it out, let me know how it handles. I'm super curious to find out. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Look at that motherfucking wolf. Looks so sick. You know what also looks sick as well though? Um, just about to end the video there, but the, the, the Warlock Bond looks absolutely incredible. I mean, I have got a couple of pals who've had it drop. I don't believe any of them are online. No, they're not, so I can't show you. But yeah, guys, look it up. It looks amazing. You'll probably see it on Easy Now's channel in the next few days because he was one of the people who got it dropped, but it looks incredible. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Oh yes, blow a kiss. Nothing better than that. Nothing better than blowing somebody a kiss when you're a male guardian in PvP after you kill them. Mwah! Thanks for stopping by as always, and peace out until next time. Peace! Get it right, left in the dark.